Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In part one, we considered how to create a stunning user interface for our calculator in the VB development area. And as promised, in part two, I'm going to walk us through the lines of codes that enable the calculator to be fully functional. So if you have not seen the part one, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. So make sure you go through it and then you come to part two. Finally, on this note, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new upcoming videos. So without wasting our time, let's dive into a project in the VBA development area. So I'm going to deploy Alt F11. You can see our project, user form 1, under the forms. So when I click on run, we have this nice looking calculator and we have all our command buttons. However, none of them is working because there are no codes behind the line and that's exactly what we want to achieve. So let's close and come back to the development area. Over here we have the display text box. So I'm going to rename that in the properties to something that I can actually relate with as I go through coding. So let's come to this name, put it my display box and very importantly I click on enter. So let's just apply a, a zero in here. So come to text and just type in zero and let's apply text alignment to the right. So I click on text align right and let's apply some little formatting. So I come here and I choose the font style bold and let's use something more pronounced 46 as the size. So I click on OK. Now our project is taking shape out of it. So I double click on the user form itself and then we have this private sub user form. So I need to declare some variables. However, I need to put in option explicit first. So let's see option explicit. So I need four variables. So the first one is going to be game y as double. Next one is going to be game z as double. And the third one is going to be game result also as double. And finally, for my math operators, I'm going to use my uh, excuse me operators as a string. Okay, so these are all the variables that I need to declare. Now let's go ahead and do the coding for each of our command buttons. So I click on this view object and then let's start from here. So this is going to be command button for one, and I need to use it and say if my display box dot dot text equals to the set value of zero inside double quotes, then what do I want? Now I'm going to just borrow this because I need it often. So control C. So I need my display box dot text equals to one else i want my display box the text equals to now i'm going to paste it again then use plus inside the code one so this is all that i need so use the end if okay so let's run the code and see how it's going to work so we have done the coding for the command button one so when i click on it you can see it's working pretty fine now i'm going to speed up all the other numbers and then i'm going to see you in a moment come back so we have completed all the codes for each of our numbers from one to nine and also zero so these are all the codes now let me just explain what they are doing now let's take this you know for the command button four for an example so we say if my display text my display box the text equals to zero then my display box the text equals to four which is going to be what we're going to type in else my display box dot text equals to my display box dot text plus four which is going to be a return for us now when we run the code and try all the buttons that is one to nine and zero all right you see that all of them is working pretty fine okay so the next thing we want to do is to undo our clear button so to do that i'm going to just close this now before i do that let me just try to reduce the size of this 
font so let's come here okay let's make it to be um, 30 and that should do okay so let's click on this scene now for here i'm going to just paste in my display box of text so what do i want in there i just want you to just click everything and give me zero back which will set value so when i run this code and let's just type in anything we want and click on this save it clears all the content in our display text box okay so it's working so the next one we also need to handle is all our mount operators and then we need to recall the first variable that we declared so let's close this okay oh, so for the first one let's handle the multiplication sign so for this i'm going to just recall my first variable which is y equals to and i'm going to paste my display box of text so next i'm going to say my display box of text equals to empty okay and then i'm going to now recall my fault um the, the variable that i declare by saying my operators my operator equals to then i want the plus or the aesthetic sign in the first okay let me get that one okay and i close that up so when i run the button for the project then we can actually see that let's say we are doing seven multiplied by eight you know it's gonna work okay so let's do for all the other ones like addition subtraction and the rest so in that i'm going to speed up everything again to save more time see you in a moment all right so we have taken care of all our math operators command buttons so these are all the lines of code now this is governing the addition this one is handling for our period or the dots and we also have some couple of moments let's check our subtraction you know y equals to that's the variable equals to my display box the text so my display box the text equals to nothing and then my operators equals to the multiplication symbol so let's move forward and see the next thing we need to do in our coding now the next thing i want to do which is the big thing of all is to undo our e equals sign which will perform the old magic so i'm going to double click on that so i'm going to recall my second variable which is z so i'm going to say z equals to my display box box text so i'm going to say if my operators equals to equals to plus and I close the double quotes then what do I want I want my result which is the other variable that we declare my result equals to the y plus the z variables because we are handling for the addition so we're gonna do for multiplication subtraction and so forth so next we're gonna say my display box dot text equals to result which is our variable that we just declared here and then this is all for the addition so for the multiplication okay so for the multiplication i'm going to use else if let me just separate it so that i can see it clearly else if and again i'm going to run this my if my let me just copy all this okay so let me copy all these ctrl c and then come here and i paste so i'm going to say if my operators equals to now i'm going to replace this to minus so the result is going to be y in this case minus z okay i need to get rid of this if okay so y minus z and then the result is going to be my display text which is the text box display box rather will declare the result so we are done for the addition and subtraction so to speed up things all we need to do is to write another as if so let's do that and see you in a moment welcome back so we have 
actually concluded the code for the equal sign so we have the z equals to my display box the text and we use if my operators equals to the plus then resulting to be y plus z are variables and then to display the results we are just saying my display box dot text equals to the result that we are calling here and we use the else if for the subtraction operator the multiplication the division and the percentage which is the mode so these are all the code that we need and i hope everything is fine so let's go ahead and run our project now let's say we want to do 7 multiply by 5 so when i click on equal sign and that gave us 35 absolutely cool so when i click on this clear it's cleared off let's do it's 8 plus 10 okay and we click enter the equal sign it gave us 98 so everything is working so this is essentially how we write the code that perform the magic for our calculator in the excel vb i hope you learned something new so if you really enjoy this tutorial you can always you know share this tutorial with other people so that they can have access to it and demo the same thing on your own excel it's going to work on every excel versions that you have so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please remember to hit the subscribe button again share with your friends comment with likes and Make sure that you are stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye for now and check.